Hey guys, it's Metro, and today we're going to be doing a review of my Hyperlite Mountain Gear Unbound two-person tent, so let's keep moving. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of some of the features that I like in this tent versus other tents that I've had in the past. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you stick around to the very end. What I really like about this tent versus my prior tent, which was the Z-Pax Duplex L, is a couple of things. And one being this waterproof zipper. I'll go ahead and show you a vestibule on the other side with it fully extended. And I'll start to make my way on the inside. But as you can see, there's a waterproof zipper here. That's nice because the, my previous uh, tent had a toggle here. Waterproof zipper going down. Has these vents here. If you've had a Dyneema tent, you probably know that these tents tend to get a lot of condensation. So having this vent here is awesome because it allows a little bit more breathing to happen. So you don't get so much condensation on the inside of the tent. But as we continue on, you'll also see at the top here, it's got these reinforced tops. Um, as you start to use Dyneema uh, over and over and over again, this fabric will eventually start to uh, stretch a little bit. So this helps reinforce those areas where the tension is going to be. I've rolled up the vestibule here, and as you can see, it has these magnetic toggles. Very easy to latch those on. Love that because when you're trying to get these things up and down during a rainstorm, that makes it really easy. Another thing that I like is going to be the zipper. As you can see, I'm doing this with one hand. With the Z-Pax 2PlexL, I would have to use two hands uh, to use the rainbow door to get in. This is really easy to get into, but there's also a toggle as I continue down up here if I wanted to take the mesh up. So this is composed of DCF 10 and DCF 5. I believe the thicker material is going to be down here at the bottom with the Dyneema bathtub floor. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the rest of my items inside of this tent so you can see it. But again, in a beautiful view, beautiful place, this tent's going to be out tonight in some awesome elements. We were blessed with some great weather, not like trail days where it was just nonstop rain for three days. Okay, so this tent comes in at 22.5 ounces. This is a two-person tent, which provides plenty of room if you're using this for one person. Roughly about 28 square feet, so if you are looking for a little bit of luxury, say, on trail, this tent is definitely your best bet. So the inside, you got these little toggles here, or little points where you can attach items. Run a ridge line if you'd like. We got some organization pouches on the inside, so charger, headlamp, phone, things of that nature. What's really cool is having a mesh doors like this. Single hand, easy to get in and out of. Really enjoying this tent so far, but lots of room on the inside. Get up 6 1. Got all my stuff organized on the right side or left side here. I'm gonna bring my pack inside. And the vestibule is big enough to bring your chair on the inside. I'll just <clears throat> put up 6 1 and give you the idea. You can obviously stake this out a little bit further if you need to, but plenty of headroom. So I pulled the mesh and the door's back on both sides. So you can see it's a nice view. So if you just want to chill in your tent. Fish the sunrise. This is a perfect tent for it. Obviously, I have the location too, but yeah, and I really like how this tent is set up. It has been incredible using it over the past six months. And you know, I have a number of tents that I use at home for a number of different reasons, but this, my friends, is one of my favorite tents I've ever owned. And I'm so glad that I upgraded from the Z Pax Duplex L to this tent. Cannot complain 100%, hands down the best tent I've ever owned. So if you found any value in this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and send me your comments so that I do respond. As always, thanks for watching, but until next time, let's keep moving.